That's a really fancy shower. <laughs> very, very nice place we got here. Bathroom's a little odd color scheme. Nice bathrobe. Check this room out. The camera's a little, a little fuzzy. Get the old focus going there. It's a nice size bed. I think that's a king size bed. <laughs> and this is pimp lounge chair. La lady at the front called these uh, chicharos, I believe. Uh, it's like uh, pork rinds with some chili powder on it. I got an agenda. Uh, Steer too long at that. I'll have to upload this video after this event. This is my most ambitious um, project ever. Uh, I got a phone call from, no, actually I got a, a email first from Canadian Tire. Tested for life. You guys might remember that video I did uh, a couple years back, the tested for life stuff where I got that really cool uh, waterproof case that we threw into the river and came back and everything was all fine and dandy. Uh, we got a call for uh, Tested for Life Moto Master to test some tires. So they flew me to Atlanta and eight other folks from all over Canada uh, in, on the car right here. Uh, one guy's from Edmonton, I'm from Calgary, I met a guy from Montreal, there was another guy that was here earlier from Toronto. Um, I'll meet the other five people at, uh, we're going down in about half an hour here for dinner, I'll see if I could sneak the old camera in there and get a shot of that. It's in a really nice uh, rooftop pool side bar, bar restaurant thing. Um, so they've got this little nice little dinner party for us. The original plan was to fly in today, Thursday, fly out on Friday. Unfortunately, the event is going to go past the time that the flights would have left. So they put us up here for an extra day, which is real cool. Down there somewhere, I think it's way far in the distance there, that red tower, is a Coca-Cola museum. And then somewhere behind that or maybe it's on that side, is uh, the third largest aquarium in the world, in Atlanta. So that gives me a uh, Saturday morning, Saturday morning until about two o'clock uh, to definitely check out at least one of those and I'll do a separate video. Um, Motomaster swag is cool. Got the tested for life, and you've got the Moto Master hat, uh, some breakfast vouchers, pens, pencils, machucheros. So, what I'm gonna do is oh, that shower is I see through into the bathroom. Well, that's cool. Um, not cool, I guess, if it was double beds and you had a roommate. Um, so I'm gonna get showered up, get dressed. Uh, the first guy I saw here has got like a full four-piece suit on, like a waistcoat and everything. I only bought a pair of slacks and a nice dress shirt that I consider nice, so hopefully nobody complains about it. But that's it. The Atlanta adventure begins. I really like this place, man. The decor is unreal. Like This is fancy. If you guys are ever in Atlanta, it's called the W Atlanta Hotel. I think the lady at the front said it's something associated with Marriott's upside down M. Um, but W Atlanta, <laughs> that one across there looks pretty cool too. Um, but I guess the pool on this is like an infinity pool, it goes all the way to the edge. So I'll judge that pool later. But I'll check back in at dinner time if I can. Check this view out. So we're at what's called the wet bar. So we've got a 
buffet going on in there and some drinks and then you've got this amazing pool that overlooks the city. So I'll probably jump back in there, grab some more snacks, be a little bit more social. We've got the sales reps from Salem. We've got some Canadian tire reps from Ontario. We got a nice mix of people. We got so the guys that we met from Edmonton, Calgary, Quebec, uh, some Toronto. No Maritimers or no uh, West Coasters from Vancouver. But it's, it's, it's a good environment, so free beers, so I've been indulging in that, and uh, good uh, roast beef, and some uh, ongoing snacks, so I'll get back to that party, and we'll check in at the test track in the morning. Alright, so it's about 7.30 Atlanta time, so like maybe 5.30 Calgary time, just getting the coffee going here. Uh, that event last night was really good, um, probably had a little bit <laughs> too many beers, and then we went to the hotel bar and met some folks down there, nice, nice friendly folks. Um, but we're gonna head over to this event here shortly uh, in about 15 minutes i'll meet the group downstairs um we'll head over to the atlanta raceway and we'll test drive these tires and then if we're lucky and we could squeeze it in uh the bartender said check out a place call uh fox brothers barbecue supposedly the best barbecue ever um, I do love barbecue ribs, so <laughs> so try to squeeze that in. It's like a couple miles away, so I might have to do a cab or maybe just come back and chill at the bar. Those guys were pretty cool. Um, so I'll just uh, chug this guy down here, get the flow going, and uh, go meet the group, and we'll head down to the track. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man.
attraction around right there. <laughs> the box. <laughs> wow, it's super slippery. This area right here, for whatever reason, is different asphalt. You can feel a big difference. You just have to come around without any effort. And then it gets warm traction right there. And then, can you guys feel the difference? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. How are you doing? Uh... <laughs> I tell you, this, this seat belt is working overtime here. Right to the lampadai, <laughs> right to the light post. Exactly. To give you some, uh, just to, to, to freak you out a little bit. <laughs> Good to go. And what you want to do is keep your eyes up and look ahead as much as you can through the course, all right? So the first one is a right-hander, so we want to set up on the left and kind of leave it out here a little bit, okay? Until you get to right here and then cut it in tight. You want to get all the way in here, all right? And we want to stay in between these two. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I'm screwing up my own. I've only done it once. Penalty. So it's here, and then it's a, it's back this way. All right. So everyone's gonna go the wrong way there. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. I'm gonna figure it out. So. We just set it up, and I've only driven it once. So back here, and then to the left of this one, and then we're out here. I'm gonna fix this cone. So that's not supposed to be down. Wait a second. Okay, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. We're all buddies here. Yeah. Between these, and then the slalom is the same as before. We set up on the right side. Okay. okay. Here. Here. Now I can feel the love. 
Yeah. Better not. And then it's a right hand corner. Don't go on the inside of this one. We're going on the outside, right? Here. Like a so. In between these two. And then full throttle all the way here and then hard on the brakes. All the way up to this cone. Stop. And Leah will move the cone and then you can drive through. And that's the end of the course. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's do it one more time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll do Way scary in the back seat, man. What did uh, what did it feel like then? <laughs> it felt like scariness. Right, again. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll brace this thing. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Is this yeah, the? I is this the Mono Masters the, are a little bit more of a controlled stop. Yeah. Here, I was at. So you drive a couple times and I'll. Uh, all right. I'll do the same thing. You want to do it in the other one? In the. Yeah, sure. The, the silver is the Moto Master, right? Yeah. 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 Get get in the back seat. It's the, so the first one we're going to do nice and slow around 10 miles an hour to clear the objective of what actually we want to do in a slalom. It's 
you're looking to get the rear tire as close as you can to the cone. Everyone thinks it's about getting the front tire, but that's where you lose a lot of your speed. So as we approach this first cone from the right, we're going to cut in left and you'll feel it. You'll kind of feel the point where you've passed the cone enough where you start to transition into the right slalom. Okay. And then as you make that arc, your rear tire will once again pass that cone and that'll give you the opportunity to turn left again. It shouldn't be a jerking motion. Okay. You, you should very smoothly go back and forth. And uh, how much of an approach should we be doing on this? Like how far out? Oh, you can, I mean, okay. you, the, the ultimate goal is to get as much speed as possible sure. without touching the brake. Okay. So, Kevin and I have got this around 30 to 35 miles an hour. So, usually what we've been telling people is if you're in the 20 to 30 range, you're doing really good. Okay. So, we'll start at 10 just so you can get a feel for the distance of the cones. Sure. We're ready to go. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Yep, you're getting nice and tight to the cones. You feel that? Yep. And you're not aiming with your front wheels, you're aiming with your rear. So now we'll follow this circle. And we'll pull all the way out so we're, we're right here. Yep. And we'll run down the sidewalk and pull in behind the silver car. Man, I don't even need to ride in for a second time. That was great. And I feel like you have a confidence. So from here, you just have fun. All right. You know, as fast as you can. There's no cars on the track. Uh, wait for us to give you the signal. Sure. And then same thing, reset. You'll do this two more times. You'll jump into that car. Uh, and then Randy, right? Yeah. Randy, you'll jump into the passenger seat of this one. All right. And then three runs in this. And then switch and you'll be able to figure out, you know. Which, which, which one am I in now? Am I in you the are, Continental? You or are in the Continentals okay. right now. All right. All right. All right.